Hello everyone, it's a beautiful day once again and I'm super excited to bring to you the Naked and Not Ashamed show. We are bringing very hot topics and if you've never subscribed to our channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. You know, if you subscribe, you are supporting also other families. You are supporting a ministry. So keep supporting and those who have subscribed, we really, really appreciate. I'm bringing to you on board Hot people, energetic, full of ideas. I hope you'll be blessed after the show. Thank you so much. Yes. Again, this is another Tuesday of questions and answers. I know you've been blessed by the last two episodes on questions and answers. Mm. And we'll be coming here every Tuesday to help you answer those questions you've been asking in your marriage. Mm. So today again, we are here. Remember this show is about bringing hope in marriages, bringing back life, restoration, and harmony. Mm. So welcome again to this show, Naked and Not Ashamed. Mm. So before we go to our question, let me welcome our great people here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Chua Chua Kampo. Yeah. Thank Ooh, you. Yes, yes. yes. Welcome. Asante, thank you so much. Yes. The Salanos, mm. uh, we love you and we are happy being here again today. Oh, yes. On this show, mm -hmm. uh, questions and the answers, mm. ready to uh, answer those things that uh, many people are asking outside there. Yes. And, and we'll be dealing with everything. So wow. feel very free to send us your question oh, yes. on parenting, on family, on uh, sex, mm -hmm. doesn't matter. Just send them in. We'll be answering those questions as time will allow us, and that will be good. Mm -hmm. And we are ready for, uh, for the show today. Wow. Yes. And then someone was saying that this show is a sex show. No, we are talking about finances, about mm -hmm. uh, family, children, so many topics. So mm -hmm. we'll be able to learn a lot of things. Anything that affects family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes, so today, uh, the first question, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm that you're going to talk about is mostly about parenting. Yes. And someone is saying that, uh, hi guys, my, my, okay, my name is Wanso. I have been married for this number of years. Sure. I have three children who are below 10 years old. One is eight, six, and four. And I've not introduced sex education to them. Mm. At what point should I introduce sex education to my children? Mm. Or because I'm afraid the world may end up teaching them. So, uh, I think this is a question that yes, is, it's it's in many parents' minds. Yes, we don't know when to do it, and yes. the more we delay, the more the world introduces in the wrong way. Mm. So maybe you can help us. How do we do that? Yeah. All right. I, I think um, let me begin by saying that uh, um, most of the time, as parents, we are setting rules and regulations of what should be done. Mm -hmm and what should not be done. Yes. But you find even after setting those rules, mm -hmm. we still go wrong. Mm -hmm. So what is the problem? And this is the problem. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking instead of setting so many rules, mm -hmm. why can't you empower your children? Oh, yes. Why can't you, you know, and you, and you get them. And I believe this program here today mm -hmm. is here to empower our parents, mm -hmm. our listeners, oh, so yes. that they can be able to empower their children. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you find that most of the parents today, they raise up their children through do this, don't do that. Uh -huh. But you never told me, mm -hmm. why should I not do that? Mm -hmm. You know? And so I think we should begin by first of all telling them um, what is, is expected of them. Yeah. Yes. What is the right thing to do? Uh -huh. yeah. Maybe you, just before yes. mom comes in. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think most parents who are young parents, mm -hmm. like us and many others, mm -hmm. we lack information. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of information that is needed in homes mm -hmm. and yes. families. Mm -hmm. yes. A parent is, is uh, at a situation whereby there is a movie, there is a space where it is very uncomfortable mm -hmm. and looks awkward. Mm -hmm. You find like you are watching a movie. It could be, it could be just a family movie, mm -hmm. and then there is that part of kissing the uncomfortable. Part. Yeah. Then you're like, go, go, go. And then let's take a combi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So that has been what we do. Yes, yes. We are we are victims of that. Okay. Actually, mbona muna pele kuka kwa screen screen time yes. over screen time yes. over. But yes. Kumbasi your screen time. We don't know how just how how to approach the same. issue. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And you see, uh, it's true what you are saying. Yeah. Uh, most of the parents today. Mm -hmm. Do they know the information that they need to pass to their children That's about the sex, yeah. you know, and about so many other things? Mm. Seems like uh, 
we are ignorant of so many things as, as parents. Mm. And just because you are ignorant, mm. it does not mean that you are safe. Mm -hmm. It does not mean that uh, the enemy is not there to mess up with the children and all that. Mm. You know, they say, just because you are ignorant of a certain law, if you are caught, you will pay for it. Hata ukisema ati mimi sikuwa ni najua ni sawa, au kwa unajua, but you pay the fine. Because wow. you broke the law. Oh, yes. Because it's not defense. It's not defense. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. So just because one is not aware or they're ignorant, that's not mean that things are not happening. Mm -hmm. And so I think as parents, we must go for the right education. Sure. We must go for the right information. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what we are talking about. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think before mom comes, <laughs> yes. Yes. We want, I, want to talk, I want us yes. to focus on two things here. Mm -hmm. What Pastor Manene has said. Mm -hmm. One is at what age. Yes. True is what information are we giving them? Yes. Because most of us, we, the way uh, Pastor Manene had said mm -hmm. earlier on, mm -hmm. is that we tell them what not to do. Usiache mm ashike -hmm. yako. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Usiache mtu acheza na dudu yako. Mm. Mbona? Mm -hmm. Hawambi mbona? We we give them what should not be done but don't tell them why reasons yeah. behind it. So we never explain. So we always just throw this uh, these topics in a scatter scattered way. Mm -hmm. Like yes. as we tell them that uh, uh, ati hiyo kisi mnaona kwa screen ya watu wakubwa mm -hmm. mbona si ya watoto ngoje mpaka siku ya harusi eh mbona si ya watoto <laughs> wanashanga okay ni watu mbona si tusikis yes. we don't tell them so because mm. even it's like we fear our children mm. tutawaambia hivyo na kumbe tuna uharibu yeah so mama now what are, which information are we giving them utakuja mbetu wewe don't have sex because you, you will die yes. you will get hiv mesia <laughs> then you go home and today i've got sex education as a parent i've played my role yes. what are we actually telling our children yeah. wonderful i think that's a very good question and i'm so happy with the topic of today mm. because the challenge has been of what has been in the past mm. the tradition the culture the belief yes. system that has been there yes. that people have believed that sex is talking about sex is a taboo, mm. it is ugly, mm. it is dirty, it should never be spoken in public, bad it is bad manners, mm. you name it, especially this part of Africa, yeah. uh, when you talk about sex, you, sex, you look mm. like you are naughty, mm -hmm. you look like you, you are introducing you, you know, are you are yeah. carnal, you are not spiritual. Yeah. But I, it is important for us to understand that uh, God speaks about sex openly mm. in his word. Mm. And so we should not allow the traditions and the cultures of men mm. to rule and control us because at the end of the day, you will find yourself deviating from the truth and not doing what you're supposed to do as a parent. Mm -hmm. I want to say there is very scanty information mm. about that. And so there is no script about how do you open up and sexual education age. to your mm. to your children mm. yeah but there's the particular age that you're supposed to do because we said we are going to learn about something about the five the five stages of children development yeah and uh, i can mention some one is the mm. the the oral stage mm -hmm. the oral stage it's where the child gets a pleasure from the mouth mm -hmm. in that stage it begins from one day mm. to one month and a half Mm -hmm. In this stage, the child gets everything to the mouth. That's when they are breastfeeding. Mm -hmm. Most of the times, anything they get, even if it's a pen, they want to take it to the mouth. Mm -hmm. Anything, akipata simu anaipeleka kwa mouth because the most sensitive and erogenous place or zone is the mouth. Wow. You know, so the, the, the so lips... So from one day mm -hmm. old to one and a half years. Yes, yes. Okay. We call it the oral, oral. the mouth stage, the mm -hmm. oral stage or the mouth, the mouth stage. stage. Then we have the second stage, which is from... Uh, one and a, one and a half years to around three years. Mm -hmm. That's that's what we call now the inner stage. Mm -hmm. With the inner stage talks about the the time when we are teaching our children how to potty. potty. You know, going to the toilet, ah, urinate, okay. using their their potty. Mm -hmm. All that is about toileting, yeah. and it is believed at that stage by Sigmund Field. Actually, is a theory by Sigmund Field. Mm -hmm. He says that at that stage, when a child is being introduced you know, potty, if they have a very strict mother mm. or a guardian mm. or a caregiver mm. who is very strict in the sense that they are told to poo-poo at a particular place mm -hmm. and if they do that, they are punished. That reta retain retaining the urine, mm. retaining the poop mm -hmm. gives them a characteristic serrata in life. You find these are the children who are very stingy. <laughs> oh. Yeah, because they were taught how to hold. Okay. Yeah, you okay. find they are very ah. self-centered. Uh -huh. 
you find them they love they have they have something we call uh the it's about me myself and, uh, and me I. myself and i mm. yeah so it's, it's everything rotating around them you mm. find they are they are really they are really, they are not very social mm. because they were taught to retain to hold, retain, to hold. hold. whereas yeah. Any child who was who was brought up by a guardian or a house girl or a mother who didn't care where the son or the daughter will poop, where they will urinate, whether they do it on the table room, whether they do it in the kitchen, yes. you find that child grows knowing life is free. Mm-hmm. You get that? Eh? Those are the children you find they are very disorganized. Mm-hmm. Okay. kitu, everything is everywhere because they were taught during that poop it was yes. what teaches you yeah. how to retain and oh. how to to to, to be free yeah. or to release mm. so you find these are the people later on who are serious you know spenders with money oh. they do impasse buying you know but this happened when when yeah. they were wow. one year and a half mm. to three years mm. that's that's some that stage that you had no control mm. by yourself mm. so the upbringing of your son and your daughter yeah. and the guardian who actually took care of them matters a lot and that's something that we need to understand mm-hmm. and so this is this a stage that is very 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 crucial so you need to have someone who is not very freestyle mm-hmm. and who is also not very we tough need mm-hmm. we need a balance, balance. Mm-hmm. then there is this stage which is very key mm-hmm. it is from three years to around four years mm-hmm. three years to five years five there years. we call it the phallic, the phallic. stage mm-hmm. in this stage yeah, phallic yeah, stage. In, the, yeah in this stage sigmoid field argues that This is when a child, a baby boy, mm-hmm. is attracted to the vagina of the mother. What? Yes. <laughs> yeah. They get attracted to the vagina of the mother, mm-hmm. what he doesn't have now. Mm-hmm. And the daughters are attracted to the penis of the dad. <laughs> the yeah, girls. the girls. Mm-hmm. You get that. Wow. Eh? So you find that when you are standing, you find your son who wants to peep. <laughs> <laughs> and because mothers don't know you think your child is you really beat this child so do you beat or you leave no 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 you just control him you should not yeah. beat you should not harass him it's part of the development mm. and so it is believed wow. that if the the baby boy mm. is admiring the vagina of the mother mm. and he sees that the mother they are very close to the father mm. he fears that if the father knows he's admiring the vagina of his wife mm. he might castrate him mm. now that happens in the mind of a child mm-hmm. so he respects He really he admires but he also fears you. <laughs> so he's like he's there in between mm-hmm. assessing when can you move away mm-hmm. so that I can go and and, yeah. and that's why you find most of the sons mm-hmm. they misbehave to their mothers when their fathers are not there. They be- mm-hmm. they have tantrums, they become uncontrollable mm-hmm. and the mothers wonder when dad was here you are not misbehaving. Nitakustaki kwa baba yako because now the mother is feeling wow. I have beaten this child I've tried to punish them and they seem not to be it's because of that stage he has a very strong attraction to the mother mm-hmm. and then the girl wants to play with the dad na sana sana anataka kurukia hapa karibu na where the pen is is na wanataka kuka yeah you find that is and their daughters daughters just jump on their tummy on their tummy is near the penis because he's getting is nearing there and anataka kusikia is there something here you get that and the fathers don't understand And that's where now you find fathers bonding that's where you find the fathers are so they are so bonded they have a very wow. strong bonding with their daughters yeah. and that's where now you the bonding of a mother and a son happens mm-hmm. at the phallic stage okay. it's so true mm-hmm. yes so there is an artist in Kenya and I really respect him mm-hmm. that guy mm-hmm. is, is is inspiring other men by just taking care of the daughter mm-hmm. he had to resign his job <laughs> oh yeah for one year So he signed his job for one year. One year. So wow. he was being uh, uh, asked, mm-hmm. you are not acting anymore and he was saying I want to eat with my daughter, I want to watch my daughter wake up, I want to bathe with her, I want to be with my daughter. I was like, wow. Mm-hmm. It's just the other day they were launching was it another show. Mm-hmm. And this is so inspirational. Mm-hmm. So when dads take time to bond with their daughters actually they can become very very good girls to their, mm-hmm. to their development yeah and they also boost their self esteem mm-hmm. wow. the men boost the self esteem of their daughters uh-huh. women or girls who grew up without a, without a father figure mm-hmm. we struggle with that self esteem mm-hmm. because we were not affirmed that we were not appreciated yeah. we weren't given attention you know we weren't given affection mm-hmm. uh-huh. the four a's mm-hmm. affirmation mm-hmm. attention mm-hmm. affection mm-hmm. appreciation Mm-hmm. Wow. they are very important mm-hmm. both to the baby girl mm-hmm. and That's both the to the baby boy. boy and that must be done also to by the mother mm-hmm. the mother must appreciate the son mm-hmm. do other and vice versa mm-hmm. so in this stage that's that's when where they 
they are also sensitive about their, that they have a vagina mm -hmm. and they notice also, they also, they are very concerned. You even find your daughter and your son touching their private part. Mm -hmm. So that's where you begin now. Mm -hmm. Sex education. Okay. At the faric stage. At the faric stage. All right. Between three years and to four five, years. Yeah. Going to five. You're supposed five to start years. at that stage. Mm -hmm. wow. And most of the parents, because they don't understand, mm -hmm. it bothers the mothers and the fathers and they keep asking, is it that my daughter is watching funny things with the house girl? You even become suspicious mm. with the house girl because you are wondering why is she so so much? Uh, you know, my son is still want to see, want to when you are dressing, well, 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 when you want to dress, you your son wants to come and see you naked, and vice versa. They want to see the father going to the bathroom, stays in a place to see whether he can be able to see the penis of the dad. Mm. <laughs> what I've been seeing most of the time, yes, you find small boys walk with their hands in their trousers. Yes. Akitembea kukone hako. Unamuza, sisi tukona pili. Unesaku pesa, amu unafaili. Tomu kwa nyo kusuru wadi. So, umbe, it is now at that point where now they are beginning. They're trying to discuss yes. they have some. Yeah, that's so, the stage. So, what do we tell them? You just, you just, you, you. <laughs> Wow, that's very and, important. And why this stage yeah. and not any other yeah. stage? You, you begin yeah. small because mm. you see the mind of a child is like a, an, an, what would I say, is like an, a virgin garden mm. that has mm. just been plowed. Mm. So whatever you plant is what is going to grow. Mm. So what you do with your, you, with your boy or your son, you mm. tell them, what makes you, you ask them, what makes you know that you are a boy? Mm. That's the first question that you tell that you ask them. Hey. Unajuaji wewe ni kijana, unajuaji wewe ni msichana, and you see them, they, they don't have a clue, they, have they also no don't idea. have an idea. Wow. So now that's when you put them information, you tell them, the day when you were born in the hospital or at mm. home or wherever the child was born, what the doctor, what the nurse looked at was yes. not your hands, was not your head, was not your ears was not your stomach, was not your legs. You keep mentioning all the other parts yeah. because every other girl has those things. Mm. What the doctor did, they opened your, your legs. legs. And so, wow, there's a penis. Don't call it susu, don't call it those things. <laughs> do, do, don't. Any word you use with a child and they don't hear it in the future, they will never trust you. Mm -hmm. So your teaching must be authentic, must be real and must be based on the truth. Wow. So you tell them, the reason why you are a boy is because you have a penis. And you write it down. Repeat again, penis, 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 P-E-N-I-S. You spell with them. Yes. And then for a girl, you tell her, the reason why you are a girl is your, because you have a vagina. That's what gives you identity as a man or a woman. There's nothing else when you are a child that wow. gives you identity mm -hmm. than knowing that you are a boy and a girl. Mm. And you see, you are a boy just like daddy is also a, bo a boy. A boy. You see now you are dating mm. with a child with people that he knows. Mm. You are a girl just like mommy is a, a, girl. a girl. I also have the same vagina that you have. Mm -hmm. Wow, mommy, even you. That, no, that's where to communicate. Mm. You begin with, yeah. with their... With, with what gives them identity. Before you continue, wow. because like us, we have twins, a boy and a girl. Yes. Do we put them together and teach them at the same point, or I take a girl and teach a candle and the boy candle? Exactly. Wow. That's the right way. You're supposed to, if you're teaching a girl, you teach her alone, even if you have girls on all of them. Mm -hmm. Let's say, for example, I have three daughters or four daughters, mm -hmm. or, or four sons or three sons. I'm supposed to teach every child individually, individually. because the understanding is so different. There are, there are people who are fast, they are, they are fast Learn. learners, mm. others are slow, mm. others they are, they are, they are afraid. Mm. So you are able to deal with a child. And like when one panics and the others think, what is daddy telling our brother? Mm. You make them think it's a bad thing. Mm. Like a parent who went and introduced sex in the presence of all the other children, one started crying. <laughs> you see now, nice. when the other one cried, the other started crying. Wow. And so from there, the, wow. the father and the mother got that fear of talking about sex again. Mm. That's not the way to handle children. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to handle a child individually mm -hmm. because they are not they are not the same. Mm. They are from the same mother and father. But remember, these children are quite different, different. in personality. Mm. In even even sometimes they may look at the same, mm. but even their mindset is very different. Their mm. attitude is very different. Mm. Comprehension is very different. Yeah. Articulation is very different. Yeah. So you deal with one child at a time. Mm. And especially the firstborn is just like when it comes also to disciplining mm -hmm. the children. Never discipline the firstborn in the presence of the lastborn. That Never. is wrong. Never. The firstborn must be given his, his or her own dignity. Mm. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
yeah. but you see we have not been taught ili ukiwaacha na the other small one they don't start to ridicule eh hey, hata niliona vile ulikuwa unachapwa vile ulikuwa unalia vile tu tunalia you know no you bet you must give the firstborn that respect yeah that the leadership they must feel they are honored even mm. when they have done a mistake mm. wow. deal with them the, the two of you mm. don't deal with them with the others wow. don't tell him bona ulifanya hivi unaonyesha hawa nini so they keep on they know any time they mess is the one who is responsible mm. and that's a mistake that our parents did because they didn't have the information mm-hmm. as Perry you were saying mm-hmm. but now we are more informed like me being a firstborn i think i used wow. to carry the burden of the whole you see family, now whole mm-hmm. children the whole mm-hmm. family return, yeah the whole family mm-hmm. because mom would come she was never mostly wow. available mm-hmm. so she, she would be like why is this one not working and you are the firstborn here So you know you get the strokes maybe it's <laughs> <laughs> on their behalf yeah maybe it's on one of them who messed up you are seven of you uh-huh. and to move what 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 so you can imagine i i think what you are saying is true because uh-huh. when we tell him the first born yes. that unafunza hao wengine nini so they they'll begin now taking all blame to the first born thank you and exactly. they, and that day i was asking my daughter any time we ask a question he begins with the first born's name I don't be from today never call that boy's name even if he is because oh, tunamwambia like. mbona wewe make up at sini Ariel ndio anamwambia no anything any error she begins by With saying Ariel yeah. even yes. he was not a, 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 a involved yes. but si ndio aliache si ni mwambia si Ariel ali si niambia always learn to take responsibility on your oh, own yes. because mm. she, they, she keep on throwing blames i think it's because us we've always been telling him to behave well in the presence them. of the other yeah. that's very so he that's feels very like he's the standard mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah but then me when I'm killing them ni hapo tu even that one should say nambia ndio ufanye nini wengine wengine so I think <laughs> ndawaambia wewe as first but when the bedroom upata zako thank you that's the way you are supposed yeah. to give and I think this is now even to destroy mm-hmm. the first ball mm-hmm. uh, you know thinking that you are doing the right thing mm-hmm. but in the real sense you are destroying this son or this daughter by in fact by you tearing know? their self esteem uh-huh. self confidence exactly and they feel mm. uh, that it does not and that's why most of the first bonds mm. are always overtaken by the second bonds mm. and third Look bonds at that. yeah wow. yeah they have a very low self esteem ah. unaona shikanishi unaona we first bond is not strong like the others mm-hmm. because you kept on I rebuking him Yes. So much emotional emotional trauma. Yeah, a lot trauma. of emotional trauma. Yes. And I think also parents also doing a lot of experiment with the first born. Oh yes. They, they don't have enough no, you know, knowledge, training and knowledge. Mm. So you find that uh, there's a lot of errors, a lot of mistakes mm. they do with the first born. With the first born. Exactly. Once that one of correcting the first born in mm. the presence of the others is very wrong and also question even when he, something has gone wrong and he was there give him his dignity the, the others must be handled like small this one mpeleke uh, nje you would better even take him outside and ask him what happened can you tell me then come and compare with what you have be, well, what the others will tell you then you are able to discover your son first born is lying then you don't rebuke him in the presence of the other take him out again tell him why are you lying to me because what i've gotten from the other children is one two three thing can you tell me the truth and i'm not going to punish you so you must we must have all this knowledge that is very important and paramount for us to raise up children who are confident and children who are able to give direction and even to the others just because you also give them direction mm. in their clutches mm. so that's something that we need to do so when it comes now to sex education even the the first born must be handled first you can't begin to teach the last born before you have taught, taught the first, the first born, born and the second born exactly because now you, mm. you will wonder and they will wonder why did you begin with the last born she because she or he because is the favorite mm. so you also can put rivalry children rivalry among them because of 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 how you do things so it must begin with the, with the first, first born. Born. take him out mm. so when you're taking them outside begin you can even be, begin to, you might not necessarily talk at them at home because when you're talking with them the others will come and wonder why is daddy and mommy talking mm. to our first born mm. so they'll keep on interfering and after that he must tell them uliko naambiwa nini so sometimes you can just pick your first born go out in with them yeah. and children you don't spend much it's just chips sausage and a soda mm. and sit down and tell them today we wanted to talk about things about men things about a boy and then now introduce sex to them the way we have said you start with their pri- private parts and you ask them where are they a boy why are you a girl mm. from there now you're able to pick up the conversation from there then now you have to teach them about the seven private parts mm. 